Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make $100 a day or more using a strategy that involves Reddit. So Reddit, of course, if you don't already know, is a social media platform that basically combines social media with kind of a forum style. And you have all these subreddits or all these sub um, genres or groups where people post stuff that is related to a category of some sort. So you have like, like, these subreddits are like news. So people post a lot of news stories or information or videos about news going on. They'll have politics subreddits. They'll have, you know, funny subreddits. They'll have all sorts of different things on here. And what's crazy is some people are actually making money from this by reposting stuff from Reddit onto YouTube. So for instance, Sir Reddit is a channel that is making uh, pretty good money if you look at their estimates obviously it ranges a lot but um, I'm just using the estimate of hundred dollars per day which would be thirty six thousand five hundred dollars per year because a YouTube channel makes money seven days a week and it's not a job where it's just five days a week or any of that so if you factored that in it's about thirty six thousand five hundred dollars per year for a hundred dollars per day so on the lowest end of their estimate on socialblade.com for the sir reddit youtube channel you can see it is forty six dollars forty six point two thousand dollars per year which is a full-time job for a lot of people in the united states and in many other countries you also look at another channel that does this strategy and it's called mk and they have on the low end what looks like $142,500 per year in just ad earnings alone. This doesn't factor in anything else like merch sales or that kind of stuff. So these channels are getting stupid amounts of traffic and stupid amounts of money. And what they're doing is basically just posting stuff from Reddit on to YouTube. So first, let's look at Sir Reddit. Sir Reddit is a channel that has about 245,000 subscribers and they are growing pretty quickly because they are getting tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of views on many of their videos and what they're doing is kind of weird because they're posting stuff from Reddit onto YouTube by going on certain subreddits like for instance they might go on to ask reddit and they'll talk about some of the most popular topics that were posted on here so this is where usually people will ask a question and then people on reddit will answer it and then the best answers are usually really interesting so uh, you get all kinds of questions and topics on there so you see that our ask reddit is typically what is used in all of these videos you see our ask reddit on pretty much all of these so you could make a channel for each one of these major subreddits as long as they're the kind that get a lot of posts and a lot of traffic and what do we build a youtube channel just around one subreddit and then you could have a bunch of small youtube channels and so they will literally have a computer voice actually read out some of the best responses to the questions and each question is the topic of one video so for instance if you looked at one video it's like teachers was the most not safe for work thing that you have done in your classroom was one post that they did on a recent video you can see right here on the second video here on search results it's already got 3.9 thousand views in just four hours and then they post basically the responses so as the video goes on you'll see pages that look like this and they're not even reading reading it themselves they just have a computer voice reading it so you could use a software or chrome extension like speak it and you could have it being read by the computer and then you could change the voice and stuff to uh, match what you're looking for like you can change the accent of the voice and those types of things with uh, some of these types of applications with this one you pretty much just have it on Google Chrome and then you highlight what you want it to read as you can see here click speak it and then it will read it aloud and then all you have to do is use a, a video editor like Camtasia to record what is being said it will do that by basically if you look at say a video in Camtasia as you're recording it'll have two sections and the bottom section is like usually the screen like if I record a video right now I would have the top part would be me talking 
and the audio and visual for that and then the bottom part would be the screen and the audio and visual for that so if you record without being on camera it would just be one you divide it up and to audio and video separately and then you can edit the audio in and just put that as the YouTube video and have the visual as just what is being put on Reddit. So again, the visual is literally recording your screen while being on Reddit on your computer. It looks like this and this for the best responses. And then the audio is being said by the computer. You should watch any video from Sir Reddit and you'll know what I'm talking about. I can't play it on here because of copyright purposes. But the second way is to do what MK does. They have 1.8 million subscribers. And you'll notice that they cover a lot more um, variety as far as different subreddits. They also do more of a compilation style. Instead of just doing the best responses for one question um, from one subreddit, they will have a lot of different top posts for one subreddit for each video. So they get hundreds of thousands of views per video and sometimes millions, like this one right here. And what they do is they actually do the narration themselves. So it's more human-like. That's probably why this channel is a little more popular because it's kind of choppy and kind of uh, less high quality when it comes to doing audio that is just being read by computer like Sir Reddit does. Although they've had a lot of success doing that. But MK is very similar, but they use compilations and they actually do their own narration with a human. So if you look at, say, what the inside of their videos look like, if you're watching their videos, they'll have different posts. Instead of showing like a question and then the comments, they'll show the actual post and it's usually more like images and stuff like that. So you see something on this subreddit, which is our crappy design. You can look that up on Reddit and see this post if you search for it. It would say you would think that choosing a Batman character to be on the Joker card would be easy. And you can see that the Joker is not even on the card, so it's funny. A lot of people will probably upvote that. And then you have like another part later in the same video from the same subreddit, and it has to do with like a barbecue place that converted to a dentist, and then they just used the they just repurposed the same logo. So it's kind of funny how they find these things, but it's very easy to make a channel like this if you really break it down, like I'm trying to do for you right now. So you can go on Ask Reddit, R Ask Reddit. You can go on, you know, R whatever else. You see uh, Ask Me Anything is one that's used a lot on these types of things. You can also look at, say, R Crappy Design like they did with MK. You can look at these different channels just look at these two channels and look at the different subreddits that they use. Make sure they have quite a few followers, like hundreds of thousands of followers at least in these subreddits to be able to keep using them and to have enough uh, people who are posting all the time to continue your YouTube channel from getting that kind of content. And then all you gotta do is you do the visuals, will be the Reddit post themselves. And then you have the comments like Sir Reddit does. So you have the comments as a visual. You have the post as a visual. If it's just a question, you post that, something like that. If it's an image, you post it and it looks something like this, like MK does. And then MK, they just use some more narration from an actual human and kind of put some humor behind it. Whereas with Sir Reddit, they actually just use a computer and have it read it for them. Now, if you want to do the computer narration part, you don't want to really use your own voice or hire somebody to do that, then what you can do is use, again, a Chrome extension like Speak It, or you can use the narrator that's built into Windows 10. So if you have a Windows 10 computer, you can just go to the search bar at the bottom left and open Narrator, and this will show you basically a way for you to have the computer read things aloud, read the text to you without you having to download another program. So you can do that as well. If that's just if you want to do the computer voice, you, you can use Narrator, you can use Chrome extensions, you know, both of which are free. Again, you will need a video editor to do this. You will want to be able to record your screen. And to record your screen, I recommend Camtasia Studio. Uh, video editor. This is what I use. It's been the best one I've used so far. It has pretty much everything you could possibly want. And 
you can also get some good audio equipment if you're going to do your own narration you want to get something that covers a lot of bases I wouldn't recommend using using a uh, USB mic because USB mics tend to have some kind of humming in the background and stuff. If you look at some of my earliest videos on my channel, you'll notice that when I was using a USB uh, mic, I had some pretty bad humming. And uh, so I converted to the Scarlett Studio bundle. I You can get a lot of different ones. Mainly what you're going to need is the audio interface here. You're going to need the mic some kind of mic stand because it, you, there are some like this one that don't come with a mic stand. I believe that's the one I got. Make sure you get a mic stand and then you'll also want something like this, which is a pop filter. You'll want that or you want one like I have right here that just kind of fits over the mic. So those are the main components you'll need for audio quality if you're going to do your own narration, which is what MK does. So those are a couple of examples of how you can build a channel around just getting posts off of reddit like ask reddit posts and comments or ask me anything posts and comments or all these other subreddits that are used by mk and their youtube channel or the sir reddit youtube channel so look at those watch this video again take some notes if you need to and kind of look for what i'm showing you as you watch these videos and then you can kind of take notes and learn from how they do it and then make your own version so hopefully this was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.